say a few words about uh, Lonnie Mack. Lonnie sadly passed away the same day Prince did and we lost two icons that day. He was one of my favorite guitar players and his playing was real unique. His songwriting was incredible and uh, for those of you who don't know he was really popular in the 1960s. His big hit was Wham which was an instrumental blues tune off of that Wham of that Memphis man, um, I believe that's the the, the correct title, and he fl influenced everyone from Eric Clapton to Steve Ray Vaughan um, of that era of the mid 1960s. And there's some great footage on YouTube if you look up Steve Ray Vaughan, Lonnie Mack of them pl of the two playing Wham. Uh, Steve really loved that tune. Also, an interesting fact is the Whammy Bar is actually named after him. Uh, short story. Lonnie basically had this Karina V he used throughout his career. He bought a whammy bar. He um, put on what was then called a tremolo arm, the Bigsby. He put it on to the V uh, using bike parts as mounting brackets. Uh, as it was unprecedented in 1958, the first year to have a V that anyone had, no one had ever had a Bigsby on the flying V before. Um, it just came out. So. He put he put that on his V and all through that album it's just present um in Wham and Chicken Pickin and many of his songs he he used the tremolo arm a lot so people ca started calling it the Whammy Bar and that's just a really cool story so anyways in conclusion rest in peace Lonnie uh, your music continues to influence me and I enjoy playing it thank you.